Hey guys! We're back to this again, again, again. I've had a lot of game crashes today. But, we've done a lot of stuff in the break we've had. I went back and finished the Dark Brotherhood again, so this save file should be caught up with my last save file, which had the Dark Brotherhood completely finished. And as a result, I should look sexy. I do. I look very sexy. Okay, good. So let's go ahead and summon this Dernavir guy at the last part of our crazy shout for him. Word of soul tearing within yourself. Let's get indoors. Or in a cave. Anywhere. Just out of Excuse me. Results when a soul is imprisoned in dead flesh. Okay, anyway. So John, giant zombie dragon just taught us the last word of soul tear, which brings people back to life from being dead. Basically what Serena does. So we're going to go ahead and have that equipped. I think we should do that. Yep. Yep. And I'm going to go ahead and unlock the full version of that ability. And just let it go crazy and recharge while we're going from place to place. And I might bust it out on occasion to augment Serena running around with me. But enemies are nearby. What? What the heck? Oh, Dernavir probably just went off and aggroed something, being a giant dickhead. Okay, whatever. Um, let's see if we can fast travel now to this place. Uttering Hills Cave, where we need to get our Ice Bolt schematic. Hooray! I also played around with save files a little bit in the sense that I discovered exactly when there is a Another point of no return where you can't do side quests anymore, that and that is right when you get on the quest Kindred Spirits. It locks you out of pretty much everything, and it's quite annoying. Quite annoying. But, good to know, in case you're planning on running through this expansion after I spoil everything for you. Let's see here. A little bit of stuff on them. So, did a little bit of experimenting with that. I was gonna enchant some gear, but I didn't really have time. I'll do that later, probably off camera. When we're going back to, um, to where we were in the main story of Dawnguard, uh, I might do a quick run and get all my stuff enchanted and the way I want it for maximum bow damage, you know, stuff like that. Not really important right now, though. Let's see what we got on us. What kind of stuff do we have on us right now? Circle of Archery, Jester's Hat, Night Weaver's Band. Um, I'll go ahead and do that. It's only 10%, but... Mm, yeah, it's fine. Hey yo, hey yo. There we go. So this place should be rather easy to just burn through really quickly. I'm not going to use werewolf form because in caves it seems like things are more divided up and it's better to use werewolf form if you're going through say a fortress where there's a lot of resistance and you can fear and scatter people. But um yeah, we'll get to that later. There we go. I'm skipping a lot of loot on people, because I'm just kind of, at this point, trying to burn through and get all this bow stuff done so we can get back to where we were. It was interesting in the first dungeon, but this one is not so interesting to me. But I do have Blade of Woe. Blade of Woe! Blade of Woe! <laughs> grab that, grab that, and continue our death murder killing spree. Oh, 
fun thing about being able to sneak up on everyone. Considering all of our perks we got going for us right now. Is this band chief guy here? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Careful, 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 careful. Hata! Oh, he had a lot of cool things on him. Mmm. Good. Ice bolt schematic. Any boo. Ebony boo. Lockpack. I'll take that. I'll take that too. Okay, cool. Neat. So, we have all this stuff. And with all this stuff, we can go back to talk to Serene and figure out where exactly we need to go next. Which we will do now. Oh boy. But yeah, this is starting to get a little boring. Um. <laughs> with the whole dungeon delving thing. I'm not I'm not opposed to doing it, but like there's not really much to these little hole in the wall places. So I may just get the next few upgrades on my own and talk to you guys about them or I will give you an update whenever I find something interesting in these caves and but not. In any case, I'll be back later. So this is a weird time to start recording, but uh ran across a random outdoor dungeon. That's close enough. Like a bandit camp of some sort. Oh god. But there's a lot of stuff out here. I summoned Dernavir, he's doing some aerial support for me. Um so that's good. But like I said, it's pretty intricate little facility, and we're just tearing it up. Serena's out here, I'm out here, Dernavir's out here. I don't know where Serena went, but she's somewhere. Oh dear, that bandit guy has magic power. Oop! In your face. Some sort of like little shieldy thing. Ow! Dude. Point blank shot. Ice race. He has a danger heart, that's all I care about. Oop. Shot you in the balls! But anyway, yep. I've gone ahead and. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, jeez. Oh, 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 no. Oh, no. I hate you. Ooh, ee, ooh, ee, ooh. It's nothing. I have a table, bro. I ain't afraid to use it. Because these enemies are so dumb, they don't know how to go over a table. Table will save me. Oop. Admittedly, I'd probably get be getting my ass kicked if this table were in here. But, let that, let let that, let that, that, oop. What you gonna do? Huh? What you gonna do? Stay behind this table. Sure have mercy on you. Ooh. Yeah, keep banging your dwarven axe. I'm pretty sure that'll be just fine. That won't won't cause you to lose at all. He's so freaked out. He doesn't even know. Doesn't even know what to do. He's just all like, oh my god, the table. Oh, what am I gonna do? Mm, I can't get around it Cause, because he's on all sides of it at the same time. Ah, ee -oo, ee -oo, ee. Oh god, that was a lucky crit. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Great. Neat little key. Oh, robber's cove little thing. Hmm. Interesting. Another key on that table. But what I'm interested in is the Warven Crossbow Schematic. <laughs> and some nice things I can sell back at home. Anyway, let's go ahead and here and see what's up. 
see if it's a little treasure trove of things or not. Serena's already down here, apparently. But this is kind of cool. Hmm. Empty chest. Bandit Leader's Journal. I'll read this. Idiots, da 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 da. Rumor has it. Can't take it anymore. before. Okay. So this is like just a little bandit camp or something. And well, they have like a meeting here every Friday for a social event. The way it sounds. Let's swim out. See where we get to. Oh my goodness, God, that is a giant mud crab. Hello, mud crab. Hello, mud crab. Mud crab. Mud crab. Dead. Interesting. That was a happy little place. But anyway, let's go back to Serene. And I think we have one more upgrade to get. Oh, slaughterfish. Derp. Oh, it's gonna kill me. Oh, no. Yee! Get me out of combat already. Please. I want, I want a fast trap. I don't wanna, I wanna. Ooh, dragon up there. Anyway, I want fast travel. I want fast travel. Fast travel. There we go. So, I'm curious about what the Dwarven Crossbow is like. The upgraded version of the Dwarven Crossbow, which is the last upgrade you can get from Serene, is supposed to be the most baller thing ever, and it's pretty much the second best ranged weapon in the game, the best being the Dragonbone Crossbow. But I think we can get this thing and I can enchant it with something and it'll be amazing. There are at least 30 different ways. You never. Is it really? It is. I was hoping we'd find this. It's a diagram for a Dwemer crossbow. Much more sophisticated and powerful than the ones we use. Here, let me show you how it's made. Ooh! Assuming you have the smithing skills, you should be able to make this yourself at Gunmar's Forge. Either way. I'll have some for sale soon. Mmm. Okay. What do you got for sale? I'll buy whatever you're looking to get rid of. Do you have a dwarven crossbow? Yeah. Look at that. Oh god, it's pretty. Give me that. And then we have dwarven bolts of fire and all that now, so we can replace our weapons with the dwarven version. Which is very worth it, by the way. So I'm going to go ahead and just go ahead with uh, selling all these, because I don't really care about these anymore. If she's going to start stocking them, then there's no reason for me to have any. Uh, I'm going to keep this. Sell this, sell this, sell this. Sneaking is 25% better. Hmm. Actually, I think those might be better than my boots. Armor 7. Armor 17. Nah, I want the extra armor. Um, plus, I want the whole set to match because I am a fashionista, and that's just the way I roll. Um, I'm, 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 I'm going to go ahead and keep those, though, because I might turn them into something later. And, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, we have plenty of inventory space right now. But I need to... Oh, I need to sell my... Stupid. I think we have a better chance. I'll buy whatever you're looking for. I need to sell my ah, Here's Take my I money! Have. Sorry, there isn't more. Yeah. Sell this. We don't need that at all. And I'm going to go ahead and check out this freaking badass dwarven crossbow. Equip it. See what it looks like. Oh, damn. It's all like shiny and golden oh, stuff. Ooh. Well Good. I like it. I like it. Alright. One more place to check out, and 
we should be good to go, and I suppose I'll bring you guys along for this. Oh wait, we didn't even get the quest from her, son of a bitch. I'm a little scatterbrained. I'm super happy about getting my new thing. But I gotta sit through more loading screens. No! Lady, lady, give us quest. What do you need? Quest! Alright, one more set of Dwemer plans to go. Alright! I think I'll be sad when we're done collecting these. Who knows though, maybe more plans will turn up in the future. Falder's Tooth! Never been there before. Okay. That sounds like a new place. Okie dokie. Actually, it would probably help if I actually went ahead and did a mark and watch on that. Oh! I lied, I actually have been there before. That was the place where we did dogfighting, wasn't it? Uh, I can't believe we're going back here. They did this to me once before, too. They made me go to the place with, um... With, uh... Where the companion companions let you do your werewolf initiation. They had me go there for a set of plans, too. So, I guess this is going to be it for this video. Um, a lot of backtracking, a lot of stuff like that, but... Hey, next time you should be able to see me running around with my advanced Dwarven crossbow, and we can... I'm going to go ahead and test out the damage on this, I suppose. Let's see how much damage it does. It hurts. This thing is massive. I love it. Anyway, I'll catch up with you guys next time. See you.